Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the 5 best neck strengthening exercises. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Does your neck ache at the end of the day, or feel stiff as a board when waking up in the morning? Different types of neck pain can tell you what the underlying problem is. Neck pain is incredibly common. An estimated 8 out of 10 adults will experience neck pain at some point in their life. The reasons as to why you may develop neck pain are endless. For some, neck pain is the result of poor posture, while for others neck pain can be the direct result of a car crash or other injury that causes the neck to jolt quickly, the experience otherwise known as whiplash. Sometimes neck pain is short-lived. After sleeping on your neck poorly, or after carrying something that is exceptionally heavy, there is a chance that you will develop neck pain that will hurt for a day or two but will gradually start to get better until it is entirely gone after days or maybe weeks. But then there is chronic neck pain. Chronic neck pain is pain that develops in the neck, frequently as a result of injury, but doesn't go away. As is the case with most issues of chronic pain, the resulting, lingering pain that follows you around indefinitely is often more frustrating and, in some cases, even more downright painful than the experience of the injury itself. Neck pain afflicts almost all of us sooner or later. A tutorial like this is overkill if you've just woken up with a typical stiff neck. Put some heat on it, maybe do a little stretching, and you'll probably be fine in a few days. But maybe it's a real whopper of a neck crick. Maybe you can hardly move. Or maybe it's the fifth crick in the neck you've had this year. Or maybe you've had low grade but constant. Maybe you are starting to wonder if there's any way to reach into your neck, pull out your cervical spine, and put in a replacement unit. You need plenty of good information, because education and fear reduction may be a good neck pain treatment, while therapies, drugs, and surgeries have a rotten track record. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Causes of Neck Pain Poor Posture The constant strain on your head and neck due to incorrect positions, movements, and permanent stress at work, in your daily life, or when exercising. Mental stress. Psychological strain. Weak immune system. For example, due to a cold. Accidents and injuries. For example, whiplash or a pulled muscle. The main reason for neck tension and pain is often a lack of mobility of the thoracic spine. The thoracic spine is designed to move in the form of rotations, turning, flexions, bending, and extensions, straightening. However, the opposite is often the case in daily life. Many of us spend our workday sitting at our desks, which limits the functional mobility of the spine. This especially happens when we work from home, our movement might be limited to walking from our chair to the couch, or from the kitchen to the bathroom. But don't worry, in the case of acute neck tension, there are many methods you can use to relieve the pain. The following five exercises strengthen and stretch the muscles in your neck. One, cervical retraction. The single best exercise to improve posture and neck stability, and one that can easily be performed sitting at your desk. Cervical retraction is best learned lying down. Lie on your back with your neck relaxed. Keeping your head on the ground, gently tuck your chin toward your chest as if making a double chin. Squeeze and hold for five to 10 seconds. Repeat 10 times. Avoid pushing your head into the floor and ensure you feel a contraction in the front of your neck. To perform cervical retraction seated, sit in an upright position with feet flat on the floor. Gently tuck your chin toward your chest keeping your eyes fixed on something in front of you. Squeeze and hold for 5 to 10 seconds. Avoid looking down or bending your neck forward. 2. Isometric Cervical Side Bending Stand or sit in an upright position with your head in a neutral position, and your feet flat on the floor. Place your hand on the side of your head. Keeping your eyes fixed on something in front of you, push gently into the side of your head, resisting the motion with your neck muscles. Ensure your head remains steady. 
3. Theraband row. Stand with arms in front of the chest holding the ends of a resistance band anchored at chest height. Bend elbows, pulling arms back against the resistance as if squeezing shoulder blades together. Keep back straight and avoid shrugging shoulders. This exercise may also be performed on a gym machine or lying on your stomach with one arm hanging off the edge of a bed or table. In a prone position, bend and pull your elbow to the ceiling, squeezing your shoulder blade and keeping your elbow tucked along the body. Hold briefly. Avoid shrugging your shoulders. 4. Levator scapula stretch. Sit upright in a chair, grasping underneath the edge with one hand. Turn your head to the opposite side, look down toward the opposite knee, and tuck your chin toward your chest. Gently squeeze your shoulder blades together and downward. Place the opposite hand on the back of your head, and gently pull down toward your knee until a stretch is felt. Hold 30 to 40 seconds. Ensure you remain sitting upright with your back straight. Five, prone rows. Lie on your stomach with your arms dangling off the side of the bed. Try angling your body so your head is facing the corner of your bed. Use a pillow under your stomach for comfort. Begin by pulling arms back while bending elbows and squeezing shoulders blades together, then slowly return to starting position. Do not lift your head up while pulling your arms back. Repeat 20 times. Perform two times per day. You should keep doing the moves for six to eight weeks, even if you stop hurting. This will help keep your neck pain from coming back. If you have neck pain, you want to get rid of it as soon as you can. One of the ways to do that is through exercise. Neck pain is common but usually not serious. Even if the pain leaves, don't stop exercising. Core exercises can help with your neck pain. Your core is your abdomen, back, and buttocks. If your core is strong and you're holding your head upright as much as possible, your neck won't have to work as hard. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.